peace forever and always. No, I'm not about to tell you some tale about little cute puppy dogs and kitty cats. I want to show you something. Now just watch as I go down here. And, uh, uh-oh, what is all this? It looks like a bunch of pills. Now, do you want to know what these pills are from? These pills are from my stay in the Department of Mental Health in the state of Missouri. They wanted me to take these pills because I had a psychiatric illness. They tried to force these pills on me, saying that they were trying to cure me of some mental defect. And due to the fact that I was in an awkward position, I had to pretend to do what these evil people wanted me to do. So daily, I cuff all this medication for this psychiatric illness. Now, I want to go ahead and tell you, because this time is short, that all the while I was cuffing all this medication that you see here, they were saying I was doing just fine. My mental health was wonderful. They gave me uh, all kinds of privileges and all these different things, my uh, records by all these doctors, as long as they thought I was taking this medication, this poison they call drugs from these psychologists and psychologists at the Missouri Department of Mental Health. Actually, it was St. Louis Psychiatric Center in St. Louis, Missouri, 5300 Austin Street, and the doctors were uh, Dr. Aesop Maya, Richard Scott, John Rayburn and a Susan Boyer, they wanted me to take all this poison for, to uh, heal my mental defect. And they all written, oh, let me not forget Dr. Michael Sherazar and another doctor I would like to mention, but he's dead. But anyway, when it's all said and done, uh, my illness was getting better. But all the while, as you can see, all the psychiatric medication I never took. And here it is. And then what makes this so bad, uh, uh, people who are listening to me, is that I even wrote the Supreme Court of the United States as well as other law enforcement and other courts, and they said it was all right for these people to commit fraud and try to murder me. And when I was inside that psychiatric mental uh, asylum, I watched them give this psychiatric drug to these people, which caused them to act in, 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 in a ill-behaved manner. The majority of them were nothing but poor people who suffered drug addiction or who were just poor in general, ignorant and illiterate. They were forcing them to take this psychiatric drug Killing many of them. I saw at least seven people being legally murdered by the Department of Mental Health. And again, like I told you, what makes it so sad is that the state of Missouri and the federal court know these type of things are going on and they allow American citizens to be murdered legally in these institutions. Once uh, a psychiatric doctor has made you insane, they pushed you behind cold steel uh, doors and they locked you away. Nobody knows that you are even alive and you are lost. And majority of the people, again, I say are poor people that cannot afford lawyers and the public defender knows that these people commit fraud but they don't give a damn and you sit inside of a mental institution and you rot and you die, and these people become nothing. So by the time they're released, if they still have, if they still have any kind of brain functioning left, they are worthless to themselves, and they're worthless to society. And now, at one time, 
that they were hooked on illegal drugs, now they're forced to take these legal drugs and just as hooked because some of them can't even function now due to the fact taking these poison pills for so long that they uh, are now addicted to these legal so-called drugs, which is nothing but poison. So anybody who is a pro-psychiatric, pro-psychiatry, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm telling you from experience, I had to fight six or seven doctors or more at one time, and I fought them for years, and this is the poison they wanted to give to me, and if I had took it, I probably wouldn't be talking to you right now here on YouTube because I wouldn't be in my right state of mind. Psychiatry is an evil practice. It is fraud. They have over 300 mental defect illnesses that have no cure for nothing, but this is the cure. And the symptoms, they can make up at any time for anything. It doesn't make any difference. And again, like I say, the sad thing about it is the judges, the lawyers, and the prosecutors know that psychiatry is fraud, and they go along with this. Like again, there's a letter that I put with this poison that I sent to the Supreme Court of the United States. And I sent letters to all types of judges and uh, lawyers, and uh, they said there's nothing they can do about it. You know why? Because you live in a country who abuses their own citizens, making these people mentally ill. They have no right to talk about no terrorism when terrorism is right here in the United States. The, the Department of Mental Health terrorized me for years and years and years, threatened to hold me in a mental institution for the rest of my life. And I function better than their employees. And the employees that they hire are just illiterate, if not worse, than the people who they lock up. And then these doctors and other psychiatrists make fun of mockery of these people because the only thing they do is use these people because they're illiterate and ignorant, refusing to get a decent high school education, refusing to self-educate themselves, and just illiterate in life in general, and so easily used by the Department of Mental Health. I'm telling you.